Hey guys, Mike Builds. Today's video, we're going to be getting some really, really cheap towel cell batteries that I found on Facebook Marketplace. All right, guys, so I was just scrolling on Facebook, Marketplace to be specific, which is really dangerous for me, and I came across a really good deal on some Calb CA180 lithium on phosphate cells. Long story short, the guy's selling about 72 of them for about 2,500 bucks. So I'm going to show you guys the listing, and then we're going to go check them out and see if they're legit. And here's the listing right here. And that's what the guy's asking as far as price. So long story short, if you buy all 72, he's gonna give them to you for 35 bucks each. Now I kind of went back and forth messaging the guy asking him questions and what he told me is he bought them directly from AliExpress from Cal themselves. Not sure how true that is. There was a lot of older or maybe grade B, I guess you could call it cells floating around. So my plan is to go pick these up, check them out. And if they look legit, I'm gonna buy them. And I actually have another buddy who's building a 48 volt solar power system. So we're actually gonna split the order. So we're both gonna end up with 36 Brand new, supposedly brand new cells, grade A, I guess, for about 1250 bucks. And that's 18 kilowatt hours of battery storage. Obviously we have to build the packs and put a BMS and do all that, build enclosures, which is totally fine. I'll do a whole video series on doing that. But today's video is just gonna be me getting the cells. Once I get them, I'm gonna show you guys and y'all can let me know what you think. Do you think I got ripped off or do you think I got a really good deal? I'm really hesitant about this deal, to be honest with you guys. And part of me is saying it's too good to be true. But at the same time, these don't ever really come up for sale. And a lot of people in my area at least don't really buy raw cells. I guess people around here don't like making their own batteries. I've had some cells for sale forever that no one ever bought. So I can kind of sort of see that being the problem for this guy. That's why he's selling them so cheap. But anyways, we're going to go check the cells out. Once I get my hands on them and get the crates, I'm going to show you guys what they look like. And they're all in crates. They're still in original cow crates. And all the pictures I found on the internet, it does look legit. So let's go check them out. It's legit. Already got all these loaded. Voltage checked them all. The 180s look brand new to me. Oh. <laughs> all right, guys, we just got to Andy's house. Shout out to always Andy. Hello. The guy also threw us in some bus bars for free. He said he paid about 200 and something dollars for these. So we did give us these for free because we bought all the cells. He indicated that he bought these for battery hookup a long time ago. So these are. They do seem like legit brand new cells. I was really worried about it because of the price, but they do all seem legit. So half of these are gonna go to Andy for his solar power project. I'll link his channel in the description if you guys wanna check that out. Another half are gonna go with me. So we have 36 cells. We're only gonna need 32, which means we'll have four to test and play with. One of the cells is at two volts. So I'm gonna dig that cell out, pull that cell out, try to recharge it and do some capacity testing on that just to see if we can maybe revive it. But one cell out of 72 being bad, it is what it is. That's just how it be sometimes. As long as we have enough to build two 16S packs each for one, uh, two for me and two for Andy, then we'll be good to go. And hopefully we have enough bus bars for that. We're gonna do full build videos on these on a different video. This is just us getting the battery cells just for now. But I'm gonna help Andy unload all his packs into his house, and then we're gonna go back to my house, unload all these, and kind of get them set up, and then we'll take a closer look at them. If you guys are wondering how much these weigh, each Calb 180 pack, each Calb 180 cell weighs about five kilograms. So this is about 800 pounds of batteries in the bed of the truck. And once again, I think we paid 2,500 bucks for all of these. So did pretty good. I'd say that's a pretty good haul. In my years of doing battery stuff, I've never got them this cheap. So very happy about that. But that's it. We're going to get these unloaded. I'm going to get to the house and I'm going to pick back up once we're at the house. Okay guys, so we just made it back to the house with our really good Calb haul. And I forgot to show you guys this earlier, but when we opened one of the crates that wasn't open already, it did have all the paperwork in it. And this paper just kind of shows the capacities that they tested, the voltage and the serial numbers. So that is really cool. I do believe I got genuine cells and I'm happy to say I think we got a pretty good deal. I was really worried because how cheap it was, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, but these things are going to be freaking awesome. We're going to do a full 48 volt battery build. I've already done one on the channel, but if you guys want me to do another one, I will be doing another one. So look forward to that. I want to use a nice BMS. I want to enclose it really nicely. And we're going to be able to add another 18 kilowatt hours to our 48 volt power system. And I think that'll be good. That'll be it for hopefully a long time. There is one cell in this group that is at two volts that I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that. But that's not a problem because we bought so many batteries. We have eight spares. 
So we will still be able to make four 16S packs with eight spare batteries, but I'm gonna try to pick out the one that's sitting at two volts, try to recharge it, and who knows, maybe it'll come back to life. But because it's sitting at two volts, it's more than likely self-discharging because the rest of the batteries are all at 3.27, pretty uniform, so happy to see that. But And unfortunately, here is the cell that's at 2.19 volts. Having one bad cell out of 72, it sucks, but honestly, we have plenty of cells to continue this project. So now I'm gonna try to charge this cell supervised more than likely it is damaged, but we're still gonna try to revive it and just pull a capacity test on it and see how it tests. Guys, real quick, after going through the paperwork, I kind of noticed a little bit later, if you guys look at the date code right here, these are from 2021, and that may shock a lot of people that these are actually about four years old. However, you have to imagine these are made in a factory, probably sat around a warehouse, and then put on a boat to the United States, which is gonna take a lot of time. So in that amount of years, we've had a voltage drop from 3.28 to like 3.27 in most of the cells, except for this bad one. This one went down to 2.2 volts. So I do believe this has some sort of internal resistance that's pulling it down or some sort of internal draw that is unfortunately discharging this battery very slowly. I did put a bit of a charge on it. So I'm gonna try to slowly get this thing to fully charge, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm probably not gonna end up using any of the actual batteries because I don't wanna risk damaging a string of batteries for one bad cell. But yeah, guys, just very interesting. It was cool to get the paperwork with these cells. I've never seen that before, so I'm very excited. And here's how I have the cells sitting just for now. So this is 32. I'm not sure as far as how I'm gonna configure them, but I'm thinking maybe either having a row of 16 stacked on another row of 16 and making it look like a bookshelf, be on casters so I could easily move all this around. And then I would have a nice pigtail coming off going to the rest of the 48 volt solar power system to tie into all that. But not really sure yet, I haven't really decided. I think for now I'm just gonna leave these alone until we can get a lot of extra time, take a good weekend off, and I'm gonna build a very nice battery out of these. I did already buy a BMS, if anyone's curious. So for this 48 volt cow battery project, we're gonna be running one of these JK BMSs. I've heard a lot of good things about these. I've always used Alley BMSs in the past, but the biggest thing about the JK BMSs is they have a really good active balancer on them. And what that means is, instead of using a resistor to bleed off power from a cell that might be too high compared to the rest, this will actively pull current out of a higher cell and charge the lower cells. And in my opinion, that is a lot better balancing technique, which I wish a lot more BMSs used. So that's what we're gonna be using. This is rated at 150 amps and 300 amps burst. And I believe the two amps is for the active balancer that's on board this, so that's awesome. This can do from 4S to 24S, so we're only gonna be using 16S, but it comes with all the cables and everything, comes with a cool little power button. And they have their own app, and you can actually connect this to your phone and get all the individual cell voltages. It's all really nice, and I'm very excited to show you guys that. But that's really it, guys. I guess I'm gonna wrap this video up here. The next time you guys see these cells, we're actually going to be building our battery out of it, and that will be it. We will have so much capacity for our full 40 volt solar power system. And eventually, I also wanna upgrade the inverter so I can power my entire house, the 6,000 is an amazing inverter but if I want to power my entire house to include my water heater and a lot of big loads at once this is not really capable of that with only 6,000 watts so I will be more than likely upgrading the inverter in the future but tariffs are hitting a lot of solar equipment right now so it's gonna be a while before I can afford a big expensive split phase inverter so that will be coming soon as well but let me know what you guys think of my calp cells let me know what you guys think of the haul did i get a good deal did i get scammed and if you guys are using these at home or you build your own diy packs i would love to hear about it in the comments as always thank you guys for all the views thank you guys who subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos i love getting y'all's input and i love helping you guys answer y'all's questions as well and i do my very best to get back to all of y'all so thank you guys very much and i will catch y'all in the next video